Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris on the Sticks. We're here on Bastion. Let's, let's just take a ride. Because yesterday, MLG had their Destiny Supremacy Private Match Showcase event. And we got private matches as a result. We actually found out that this was going to happen uh, the day before. And... They're here now, and uh, a lot of people have been having fun with this. Um, <clears throat> I believe a lot of the streamers have been having a lot of fun with this. A lot of people just want to do like random things and stuff like that. It's been it's been a really good thing. It's been something that the community has been asking for for the past two years, um, and we finally got it. It's only on PS4 and Xbox One, um, which makes sense. But, uh, it's finally here, and it's pretty cool. Like, one of the little things that they added was that on each of the maps, there is a ghost lying around. I didn't really spoil myself to find out where the ghosts are. So, you know, I might find it, I might not, but they're here. But, with private matches, there's a lot of things that come up. Um, and one of the main things is support for the competitive community in tournaments and things like that. Now, Bungie has said that they want to support competitive. And uh, coming from somebody who's been, who's tried to do like competitive stuff in like Call of Duty, um, it was a lot, it was really important that, you know, we had this. Like before this, there's been sweaty tournaments where you have to basically like queue up in regular games and in regular playlists so this makes that a lot easier but uh, the other thing that raises some questions besides just like balancing the regular crucible which is another story that's the wrong way like balancing regular crucible that's a, that's a completely different topic for a different day but one of the things that raises some questions is what we're, what are we going to get with uh, with the custom parts of private matches. These are really private matches. They're not really custom matches. Um, and, you know, one of the things that custom matches will allow you to do uh, is have preset loadouts and be able to access basically everything that is in the Destiny, the Destiny Armory, all the classes, and all of those things would be available in custom games. Now, Destiny is a different game because it's a loot, looter shooter, quasi MMO. It wants to wants to be an MMO. Wants to be a first person shooter. It wants to be wants to be a lot of things, and. If you don't have that ability to have uh, to have those loadouts, it it really uh, not only does it alienate others from hopping into uh, hopping into Destiny and like loading it up, playing some custom games. It kind of it it it, it relies a lot on RNG to get the best weapons in the game. To be able to compete at the top level. In regular Crucible, it really doesn't matter if you have a perfect rolled AS Luna or Party Crasher or hell if you got a Matador 64 when that was the thing in year one. It doesn't really matter to a huge extent. When you get into the top level of gameplay with any competitive game, Eliminating as many variables as you can to create a consistent game is really important. And then, you know, RNG with the gear you get, and including RNG with bullets, <coughs> ghost bullets, it, it really, it, it takes away from, you know, actually progressing in the game. And it takes, a, it takes away from the consistency. It needs consistency in order for you to get like a com to have a competitive nature out of it like if you have a game where everything is based on chance 
it, it, it takes it takes a lot it takes a lot from it and I think that if Destiny wants to be competitive, that's something that they have to look into. My opinions on it is that it's obviously not going to come like now or like within like the, this iteration of Destiny. If there were ever a time for them to at to work on like having those things available for other people, it would have to come in Destiny 2. And part of part of me hopes that it does. Um, part of me is a little bit indifferent to like whether or not uh, gear in the game is going to be completely available through custom games. Um, it would take it would take a bit to rework the game from the way it is right now for that to happen. But I really don't know, and I kind of just wanted to like create a discussion on like how this how like how Bungie if they really if they really want to support competitive for destiny be like larger outside of just online tournaments um like how can they do that <clears throat> you know they they would also have to have land support if they want to like support it further in that sense again something that would be something that would have to come later on but you know i'm not a I'm not a sweaty player. Like I've stopped worrying about trying to be like competitive and try to be like the best at the game. I really, I like, I still strive to be good at a game. I I get enjoyment out of being doing well in a game. But you know, I kind of like got out of trying to be the best. You know, maybe maybe I should like try to get back on that, but. As it stands right now, I I just want to have fun. So like I don't I don't have the answers. There are a lot of other people that have put in a lot of time in this game that can probably give you a better answer to like what is needed for Destiny to be competitive in terms of support in custom games. I'm not talking about gun balancing. I'm talking about just like what what you would what you would allow in custom games you know so i think that's where i'm going to stop with this video it's getting longer than i would hope so i just want to leave this up to discussion what do you guys think is something that can be done in terms of custom games do you think that in the future in like destiny 2 i'm think like i'm honestly thinking it would only come in destiny 2 do you think that it would be smart to have all of the weapons in the game available via private matches or custom games or do you think that uh do you think that destiny is the way it is so that they should keep it they should keep things the way they are with everything being loot based or do you think or yeah do you think that they should have everything available i feel there's a part of me that feels like they should, and another part of me that just really doesn't know the answer. So, um, I'll leave that up to discussion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little random walkthrough of this map that we've played, like, once in the game. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, again, comment down below, and if you want, you can subscribe, post more videos. As always, this is Chris, and I'll see you later later.